Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely going to love my channel. So make sure you like and subscribe, check out my Instagram for all of the latest updates, and today, let's get right into it. So in today's video, we will be going to the Versace sale, seeing what they have, but we will also check out the Gucci store and go to Saks Fifth Avenue. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So now we are in the Versace store, and this right here is their current season. I liked the current season more than their last season, and then we did have a lot of Fendace left over. You can check out my Fendace vlog for all of their items. However, this is their sales wall. A lot of really cute colors on here, and I'm excited to go through those. And then of course we have all of their amazingly cute silk scarves as well. So here we have the Versace Dream Hoodie, and the Versace Dream Hoodie it is really cute, but I have so many things that are just like this. But then we also do have it in a crystal version as well, and I do like the crystal version more, I will say. However, this jacket right here, I did wish I did try this on. It's so cute, and it is kind of like a puffer jacket five, but it is made out of like a fabric, so I really did love that. And then this right here, I do like this silk short, but I did like it in blue, so I would prefer it in blue. But this jacket right here, this nylon one, so cute. I love, love, love the colors on it. But this is not something that I would wear forever, and it would only be like a couple seasons that I would actually wear it. And then we have the super cute pink polar t-shirt, and the pink polars, I'm not gonna lie, I really do like their polos. I think they're really cute. And then we do have this sweater as well. The sweater is really, really cozy. I almost did get this, but I want it in the lavender color. If they had it in lavender, I would have gotten it, but they did not. They only had blue, so I did pass on that. But speaking of blue, this jacket right here, they do have a lot of different versions of this style. Really cute colors, and like I said, I love these colors. We do have this zebra shirt right here, this black and white shirt. I absolutely love this. So 100% me. I'm definitely going to have to get this one. It's not on sale right now, but it will be during the winter, so I'll be coming back for that. And I love their new black and white theme. Now we're in the fitting room, and I do have my cute Versace shirt on, of course with my black and white theme. We are rocking it with the Prada shoes today. I absolutely love this outfit. We have my Fendace bag in the background, and we will be trying on these two shirts. And this bag right here, I fell so in love with it. It's just so pink, so cute, and it's so fluffy. Speaking of pink, we will be trying on this one too. And I really do love this shirt. It's just so summery and so cute. And then of course the black polo, which you really can't go wrong. It's just so perfect. First up, we do have the lilac shirt. And I'm not going to lie, I loved this one so much. Yes, I did end up purchasing this one. This one is in the size small, and I absolutely love it. It's gonna go so cute with my blonde hair, but even my black hair as well. And to be honest, I love this one so much. I do want a second one, maybe in an extra large for comfiness. Next we have the Versace Dream Shirt, and this was in the size small, but it's still oversized, so I would need an extra small. However, I just have so many black and white shirts that say Versace. They're really kind of all of the same, so I don't need another one that says Versace. So now we're trying on the pink shirt, and the pink shirt, I really like this. This is a size medium. I would need a size small in this, but I really do love this one. This one I do plan on getting once it does go on sale, because this one is only $150 when it is on sale during this winter, and I actually want two of these because I am going to get my mom one of these, so it would be so cute and we could match, and to be honest, I really love this shirt. And then we can see closer on the logo that it does say Versace all over, and it is really cute. And now we have the black polo, and to be honest, this polo shirt is just so perfect. I honestly cannot say anything about it other than it's just so perfect and I love it. And now I will be getting this one eventually, not exactly short win, but 100% I will be ending up with this one. It's just so perfect. It looks so cute with my hair. It will be cute with black hair. Just everything about it. I love it. So just a little quick review of this super cute pink fluffy fur shoes bag. This one is just absolutely amazing. It is made out of faux fur and it is just such a cute and perfect size. I really do love this one, like I cannot say it enough. On the inside, it is a pink calfskin leather, really soft and really, really smooth. I really do love it. We have a couple card pockets in the back, and then when we take out the dust bag, it is a pretty decent inside too, like it's not too small. I honestly could fit a lot in this thing, and to be honest, I love this so much. I do really, really, really want to get this one. It's just so perfect, and it's so pink, and it's so fluffy. And then my essay did bring me this coat as well. This coat, I've honestly been wanting this for a really long time, but this is like $1,200. This is two seasons ago, but it's finally on sale for only $650. I almost did pull the trigger on it, but I didn't pull the trigger just because I wasn't 100% sure. But with this handbag, it's just so perfect. This pink little handbag goes with everything. 
I love it with this coat. It's just so perfect and I absolutely adore it. I of course also paired it with my cute little lilac shirt because it's just so perfect. And again, like this bag, I cannot get over it. It's just so perfect. So this one did retail for like $1,400. And then of course I did pair it with the pink shirt as well. And the pink on pink is just so beautiful. So amazingly cute, I think, especially with the blonde hair. It's just such a moment. To be honest, I honestly just cannot get over this handbag. Like I said, this did retail for $1,400. It's not too bad of a price, but I am just so obsessed with it. I am just like, it's totally mine and I will have it. So for more pink handbags, this one was just so cute and so perfect. I really, really, really want this one as well. It is a pink fur choose bag. This one was not on sale. None of these bags on this wall was on sale. However, on the next wall, this one right here, we do have all of these on sale. We do see all of the fur choose bags. We have some colorful llama dusas with like a plaid print on it. And then of course we have more llama dusas. Now the ones that go on sale, they're always like the bright color ones. Really, really cute, really good if you like them. I actually do like the black hobo bag on the bottom. It's really big, but it was really cute. And up here, I actually did kind of fall in love with the blue bag. I personally never seen the blue bag before and I didn't see it until I was editing the footage, but I did really like it. It was really cute. And then of course we have some shoes as well. A quick close up of the purple La Medusa. This one is really cute and it does have like the yellow plaid print on it. It's kind of like a canvas one. Kind of reminds me of like a picnic basket as well. This one, it's the same inside as my normal purple one. I do have a review on it. If you want to check it up, the link will be up top. I was also surprised because I showed my mom this footage and she actually really liked this bag enough to where she might actually want it. And then of course they do have the purple circle one as well. And then here's the La Medusa in a pink version. Really cute as well. And then we have their main wall as well where you can see a lot of La Medusas, a lot of totes, and black and white as well. Now this all white one with the gold, I really liked it. I honestly kind of want it. However, the black and white, I do like that as well. The chain on it for the top handle is really different. It's really, really thick. It's really, really sturdy. So I am kind of considering it, but definitely in a bigger size, of course. But the white and black ones, I really love. And then of course we have all of the SLGs and we can see the cute little crystal mini bags as well. For the women's section, a lot of pink items, really, really cute. The puffer jacket right here was so cute that I actually did kind of try it on. However, going back, we can see like a little bit closer look of these prints. A lot of really cute ones. This one kind of looks like the Fendi print, but it is like a beautiful lilac. And I honestly do kind of really like that. And then of course we have all of these cute silks. And then we do have this cute little hoodie as well. I would prefer it with a giant Medusa on the back of it, but you know, definitely a nice try. They do have a cashmere sweater with a giant Medusa, so that is really cute as well. But again, this puffer jacket, I honestly did love it enough to try it on. And then we do have some of their last season colorful items as well. Trying on the pink puffer jacket, it's so cute and it's actually really, really huge. So it was so puffy that the back of it kind of made me feel like a hunchback and I was like, that would definitely have to be flattened down. But this is a really, really cute, comfortable nylon jacket. It's definitely worth it. I would 100% recommend it. So now we are in Saks Fifth Avenue and we'll be looking at some of their handbags, starting with Chiffon Chi. Really, really cute items. The Antigona is really classic. I still want it in the large size and also in gray as well. We did have this new version as well. Really cute. It is kind of like a canvas fabric material, which is cute. And it kind of has like a picnic vibe. We have the cute shoulder ones, which if you love the Prada 2000s, you'll definitely love these if you're a fan of Chiffon Chi. More bags from the brand. We do have these ones as well. Now that one on the right kind of looks like a camel with like the brown kind of faded. I love, love, loved that blue one up top. I couldn't get it down to get closer to it, but it was just so cute. And then we do have some more at the bottom as well. A lot of them do have really cute chains. However, this color right here, this lilac, was just so cute. I really do like it. I don't like the style of those bags. I'd rather just have an Antigona, but it is a cute color. For the bags that were on sale, these are the bags that were on sale. We can see some Balenciagas and some Belmonts. On the other side, we have a lot of Chiffon Chi as well. For Chloe, I'm honestly not a fan of Chloe. I don't consider it luxury, but this black one was kind of an interesting one just to look at. And then we do have some more Chloe totes over here as well. Now we do have MCM here. And to be honest in America, I just really don't understand MCM. 
I mean, you might as well just shop at Burlington in all honesty. So now we have some Christian Louboutin. I will be getting into those bags in just a second because I noticed that Versace was back here in the corner. Now this used to be where our Prada was, but they did replace it with a bunch of handbags. And now we do have Versace, which is really, really cute. And I do love all of these handbags, but I have to mention this pink one, they changed the color of it. So if you've seen my review, I do have this and it's a very nice light soft pink. And now it is a more neon tint. And then we do have more bags down here, which are really cute and I do like them. However, down here, first thing I noticed was the dark blue Medusa. They absolutely made it look horrendous. So of course, you know, I had to fix it. I personally hate when they take the sides off of it. So I did fix it and now it looks absolutely perfect and beautiful and ready to buy. We do have this brand right here. I cannot pronounce the name of this brand. Never heard of them before. I do not like the bigger version of the bags, but I did grab down this cute little blue one. Now the small ones, I actually do kind of like it. Really good alternative to the Bottega ones. Now these ones, I could not open this. It was so difficult. I did manage to get it open though and it is really cute on the inside and I really did like it and then they did have a pink one as well. Now the blue and the pink, I honestly kind of did like these. Now I'm not totally against the style of bags, there's just not one that ever spoke out to me, but it is kind of really cute. But one thing that super surprised me was this Louboutin bag. Now this one, I honestly loved it. I love shearling so much and I love cute shoulder bags, so this one was so perfect. And then more for Christian Louboutin, we actually had this one right here, which was so cute. I honestly really like this one. Has to be one of my favorite Christian Louboutin handbags. It's so similar to the Louis Vuitton pochette bag. So if you're a fan of the Louis Vuitton ones, this one would be so for you. I love the color of it. I love that it says Louboutin on the side of it. Just so perfect and I would 100% recommend this one. Some bags that I did not like, these were the Christian Louboutins that were on sale. Absolutely atrocious bags in my opinion. I hate that giant orange on the front. This one was more doable, more okay. I'm okay with the rainbow ones. Those were acceptable. And now we have Balenciaga, which Balenciaga has really caught on to me lately. The hourglass bags, I love these so much. I really do want this one in the pink crocodile. So absolutely cute. I do have it in white and the white one I am obsessed with. The insides are so good. You can fit so much into these and I absolutely love them. And then we do have it in dark red as well, which is just so beautiful and I love it. For Belmont, we do have a lot of cute bags. We did have some totes at the bottom, but the one in the middle, the green and black one, I honestly really loved this one. Now I did ask for the price of it and it was $1,300. Not a bad price. It's like normal pricing for a small shoulder bag. I really did like this one. I do kind of want it. More from Belmont. We do have this one right here, which I honestly do like these. I would purchase one, but there's just so many other handbags that stick out more. And then we do have it in black and white as well. The black and white, I do like it. It is really cute. I would rather just get like a normal black one but they are good on the inside. Like you can fit a lot. There's an inside pocket and a giant compartment. So you will definitely have all of the space you need and it's really cute. And then again, a closer look at the black one and the black one, I really do like the crocodile on it. However, they did have this beautiful color as well. I don't even know how to say this color. I don't know if it's like a gray or a beige, but this one was really beautiful. And then we do have these three right here and the pink suede one. I did really like it. I just love bright pinks and they're just so cute. So now we are in Gucci and I will be honest with you, this is my very next handbag that I will be purchasing. I will be getting the classic one in the medium size. It will be in the color the normal canvas, but it will be brown on the inside. And this is made out of suede, so it's just so soft on the inside. A lot of room and a lot of compartments, and I honestly love it. Another bag that I really ended up loving was this Gucci Marimont bag, I believe is the how you say it. And this one just looked so good on me, I'm not gonna lie. I really did like it. It was so soft. I loved the leather. I loved the inside lining on it. This one, I'm not gonna lie, it's so cute. This one was $2,300 compared to the other Gucci one I was showing you. That one would be $3,000. We have more Gucci bags as well. I do like the cute little shoulder bag. And then we do have the Marimont in all black on black. And then of course, scrolling over, we do have it in gray and silver as well, which is so cute. We do have the giant Gucci tote, which is really cute with the bamboo handles. And then we do have the ones in the center. To be honest, all of these three bags right here, I definitely do want the styles of. And then we have this section right here, which honestly reminds me of like a gardener. So it kind of reminds me of my friend Devin, but this kind of styles are super cute. This right here is the new style of the Gucci bag. And to be honest, I'm just not a fan of it. I think the giant G on the front of it is cute. They do have a larger size, which is kind of like my Chanel Trendy, like how it's like an accordion style on the side. 
really cute. I do like the bigger size better, but they're still not personally for me. And last but not least, we do have the amazingly cute Gucci wall with all of their cute dino bags. I can't pronounce the name of the actual name of the bags, so I will forever call it the dino bag. For the clothing in Alexander McQueen, I absolutely did love this tuxedo. Alexander McQueen, he has such good clothing and I absolutely will forever love his brand. For the shoes, I was so obsessed with these ones. I 100% fell in love with these Christian Louboutins. I honestly 100% need them. And to be honest, I was actually going to purchase them that day, but I was just like, honestly, it's $3,000. And if it was 1,200, yes, I would pull the trigger on it. They're just so perfect and they're so unique and they're, they so stuck out to me. We do have some Valentinos as well. And I do kind of like this beige Valentino. Really cute shoulder bag, very cute like hobo bag. We do have more of their like Rocksteady collection in the back. We did have this one, which I never seen before. I just thought it was like a very unique shape because it's very, very accordion. And even on like the inside of it, each section is kind of like different colors kind of. And I honestly really like it. It's cute. For their newer attraction of bags, I really do like this style. I really like it in the like pink version. However, they did have one up top in this gray material. And I did think this gray material is really cute. It even had some like sparkly reflection things inside. So it would give like a very nice like iridescent finish. So my last stop is Celine and they do have this really cute lilac and canvas tote bag. So they did have these two up here and I really did like these ones. They were so super small and these were a thousand dollars. However, they did have a bigger version as well. And the bigger version, I really did like it. I did end up trying it on and it was the perfect like width and everything for your shoulder. It did fit really, really nicely and it was comfortable. It did sit on your shoulder very easy. And then even when you do hold it down here, it's just so cute when you hold it down and just like have it in swing. I really do like it and I think it's cute. But my favorite items of the day was my lilac t-shirt and my pink fluffy Versace bag. This bag is just so cute. It's so pink and it's so fluffy. And of course I love the jacket as well. But the pink bag, oh, it's just my favorite thing in this entire vlog and I 100% need it. Okay, so for the Versace sale, it was really, really good. I loved so many things from it, especially that pink handbag, I absolutely need it. But I do have some vacations planned and just a couple things that I need to figure out. So I didn't pull the trigger on that yet, but I am absolutely dying for it. I keep going to bed and I keep thinking about it. And to be honest, I kind of think I really, really need it. And then also, like I said, I did get the purple t-shirt. The purple t-shirt, I love it so much that I actually might get a second one because I love to have two of things that I really, really like. And then the large one, it would be either a large or an extra large I would get. The one I purchased, it was a size small, but I'm thinking maybe an extra large because it would just be so comfy. You could wear it to sleep. You can get stains on it, eat spaghetti in it anything you want and you don't have to worry about it. So that's also what I really like about it. Also for the price of it, I think it's just such a good deal. You can get two of them for the price of one. I absolutely love that. And the normal price isn't even that bad. So the normal price is like $390, which honestly is not bad for a luxury t-shirt. However, paying $190 for it is perfect because then like I said, you can get two for the price of one. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. So definitely make sure you like, subscribe, Comment down below, check out my Instagram, and have a great day. Au revoir.